Hi, I'm Fox. I'm Regable. And this is iPhone hacking episode 11. Yes, 11. I don't have enough fingers for 11. <laughs> Anyways, what are we covering today? Uh, today we're going to be covering all the different crazy methods that are out there for unlocking and jailbreaking your iPhone. Yes. So lately there's been all these rains and snows and it's just starting to get confusing as to what you need to do yeah, for your iPhone or iPod Touch. Normally we just cover whatever the latest hack is and we go through it step by step. But we've done that for about the past six episodes. <laughs> and the steps don't really change. Right. So now it's a question of which what method, do you do now that there's some options? Okay, what, are, so, what are the options? So, well, depends on what you want to do. There's jailbreaking and unlocking. So, what's a jailbreak, Fox? Okay, so a jailbreak allows you to have root access to your iPhone, which means nothing other than you can install third-party apps that normally wouldn't get approved by Apple. So, yes. cool things like um, Backgrounder, which will let you run programs in the background or, or video recording uh, if you don't have a 3GS. Yeah. Yes, and also uh, live streaming to the internet like with Quick. So lots of cool stuff that you can do with a jailbroken iPhone that you just can't do with a regular iPhone. So jailbroken iPhone, run applications, you're still with AT&T as a carrier. Yes. Which brings us to unlocking. Unlocking yeah. means you can use your iPhone with a carrier other than AT&T, such right. as well, or, for us, it's Union. Yes, in America. And in other countries, you know, unlocking <laughs> would unlock you from whatever the native t uh, tyrant is that's paired up with Apple. So, <laughs> like, we don't have AT&T in Wyoming, so our only option is to unlock to use an iPhone. Yes. Or Rome, yes. one or the other. <laughs> so, depending on what, on what you want to do, you use a different tool. Yes. So if you just want to jailbreak, what's the quickest and easiest tool to use? Would probably be um, the rain. The, the rain? rain? Yes. Black, Black rain. rain. Black rain. Black rain. You just simply plug it in, run Black rain, you've got a jailbroken iPhone. Yes. So it's it, it works pretty good. Um, yes. this, uh, unfortunately, with, uh, when I tried to run Black rain, uh, it didn't work for me. Which is a good thing because we need to have a yes. we need to have a hacktivated phone because we don't yes. have the AT and T service and apparently Black Rain doesn't do that. No, Black Rain will install a three point one point two firmware uh, with the baseband update, which kills an unlock. So, if you want to keep your phone unlocked, stay away from the rain. Yes. So, if you want to unlock, your only option is to currently. To use the Ponage tool or, or Red Snow. Yes. And Red... Yeah, what's what's the difference? What's the difference between Ponage tool and Red Snow? Well, the Ponage tool usually comes out first, and it's usually just for the Mac. So if you're on PC, you're out of luck. And okay. it actually creates a, a custom firmware, and you restore it to the phone. So it, it wipes your phone, and you got to recover... You have to reinstall everything from a backup, which is pretty automated, and it's not that big a deal, but it does well, take a lot longer. That, uh, yeah, so unless you have that... Uh, if you have custom applications installed with Cydia, you have to have another custom application to back up your Cydia applications. Right, right, and you right. You have to go. Through, I mean, and it can it can take a while if you have a lot of stuff to copy back over to your iPhone. Yeah, if you want to have a app or a apt backup, that's the the application you want to have, <laughs> <laughs> and run it before you um, do a recovery on your phone. Yes. So it there's more involved with Ponage tool as far as getting your phone back to the way you want it. Yeah, if you want, if you, if you want to wait around a little bit longer, they'll probably come out with a, uh, with a Red Snow, which doesn't require you to redo your whole iPhone. It just runs over the top of your existing firmware and jailbreaks it. So it's, it's, uh, it's a lot. It's quicker. Nicer. It's easier. And it's for Windows. And Linux. So, really? Yeah. Damn, that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know they had a Linux stack tool for, for the iPhone. Um, so, so our, it's a step behind, but it's quicker and easier. So our recommendation this week would be, if you want the latest Apple firmware, go with the... Ponage tool. Ponage tool. 
you want to be a couple steps behind, go ahead and just use red snow. <laughs> and if you want to be lazy like me, then you could wait for red snow. Yes. Um, and if you have an iPod Touch or you have AT&T as your carrier and you just want to jailbreak, then it's purple rain. Yes. And uh, we could be all wrong, but that's just our um, our uh, observations that's from what we've our... seen. That's <laughs> our summary of what we've seen and what we've used so we'll have a nice little flow chart for you a nice little link to explain that flow chart within the show notes from a site called iClarified.com correct yes Fox? yes that is correct okay. we'll have a link in our show notes <laughs> and okay. uh we're also wanted to let you know the reason why we haven't done too many shows lately is we've been working oh. hard on a web series uh yes we've uh We've uh, been putting a lot of time and energy into developing a web series called Beyond the Clipping Plane. Yes. Uh, so if you like, we aim. If you like any of our little skits that we've had it on previous episodes, this is like an extended skit. <laughs> sort of. Sort of. Um, we've aimed to produce a web series along the lines of The Guild or uh, Legend of Neil or uh, The Crew. <laughs> is another one. Uh, so that's what this is kind of like. So check it out. Tell us what you think. Yeah, we... Tell us how much the music sucks because everybody <laughs> seems to think it sucks. Only one person <laughs> so far thinks the music sucks. The first, uh, the first episode of the pilot's out now. We've, we've, we've already shot the whole pilot, which is three parts, and they're going to be coming out every Monday. So depending on when you watch weeks. this, they, they might be all out, but... Um, yeah, they get they build up, so they get, it gets more exciting with each episode, or at least more effects work for me, one or the other. <laughs> so, so yes, please check it out. To, Tell us what you think. Yeah, it's good. Tell us what we should do better, and we'll do it better. Yes, it'll be on twosmartguys.com, uh, where we also have forms. So if you need help with any of these topics, you can go in there and look at that. Uh, by the way, the new site's up. Tell us what you think. We or, have a new theme developed by. Uh, Cog Cognizant Designs. Cognizant Designs, yes. based out of Colorado. Yes. So if you need a good site design, please check them out. <laughs> they, there's a link towards the bottom for our on our site. Check them out, please. And uh, and, and uh, if you want to help us out, you can uh, donate ten bucks, get a DVD. Uh, link. Send me some cold medicine. That'd be really great. <laughs> yeah. I could use some right about now. And if you want to make a custom T-shirt or anything like that, <laughs> use, use use Zazzle, and uh, oh yeah, yeah save uh, ten percent if you use the code Two Smart Guys. And we're just babbling. And if we, oh yeah, I forgot to explain why why we're doing it this way. I am in California, and Ragable is back in Wyoming. He's still at home. Yes, yes. So it's a little. Webcasting this way is a really, really, really odd experience. <laughs> the chemistry is just gone, dissipates. So now that there's nothing there. Now that we've um, made half the show content and the other half just BS, I think it's uh, I think it's time to say goodbye. <laughs> All right, All right. Thanks, everybody. Bye. <laughs>